Hi everyone, good morning. It's Crystal with Catching Up with Crystal coming to you today from my living room. It's a sunny day today. Um, this is the shirt. If you look in uh, my earlier video saying Empowered Women, Empower Women, this is one of the shirts that Shalia Hampton uh, made for me. If you are interested in a t-shirt, please uh, like and subscribe to that video. Her information is in there. So the purpose of this video today, as I told you in video number one, this is video number two, that I am back in school to become a psychiatric nurse practitioner, and I am going to take you along the way. Today is May 23rd, and today is the first day of class. However, I have been doing some work and some reading as soon as I got my syllabus information so that I could stay ahead of the game. Now, this is an online program. Um, and so part of the way I plan on being successful is managing my time. And that is staying ahead of the syllabus so that I am able to work as well as complete this program. I was told that I would need at least 15 to 20 hours per week of study time. And so, um, I will be doing that. So this is a graduate level program. Um, when you're in graduate school, you must get a B or higher in order to pass the class. Anything less than a B is uh, failing and you will have to retake the class. And that goes usually across the board with most graduate level programs. This program for me is only going to be one year because I'm already a nurse practitioner, adult gerontology, primary care. However, I still have to take um, some of the requirements. So the classes that I have for summer, and like I said, today is May 23rd. The classes um, that I have, this is a 12-week program. The semesters are 12 weeks. Um, I am enrolled in two classes, psychopharmacology, which is the study of um, drugs that would be prescribed for psychiatric disorders like depression, anxiety, schizophrenia, bipolar, um, any of those kind of things. Those are just a few. And I'm also taking a class. Um, it's kind of a cultural competency class. Um, I have the syllabus here. I have my books here. I will show you. I'm going to try to keep these videos short because learning can be boring. And I can't stand a bunch of wah, 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 people's videos. So I'm going to get to the point for what you're here for. Okay, so I'm going to put my glasses on. Okay, I have the syllabus. So psychopharmacology, a description of the courses. This course is designed to help assist the psychiatric nurse practitioner to develop competence in prescribing and monitoring psychopharmacological agents used in the treatment of common psychiatric mental health disorders across the lifespan. This course will examine the major classes of psychopharmacological agents and neurobiological function See, that's all boring, right? <laughs> With an emphasis on the clinical management of target symptoms, drugs of abuse, side effects, issues of polypharmacy and management of advanced practice prescriptive privileges are also explored. Various teaching strategies, assigned readings, clinical cases, discussions, et cetera, will be utilized. So psychopharmacology is my first course. These are the books that I am going to be using in the course. So Stahl's Essential Psychopharmacology. And, and I've already been assigned lots of reading. And the other book that goes with that is Gabbard's Treatments of Psychiatric Disorders. And that is the DSM-5. And the DSM-5 basically helps you to diagnose your patients. So I have already been given my first assignment, which is a discussion board. So every week we are expected to go onto a discussion board and, and post, depending on what the assignment is. So because this is just the week one, the discussion board assignment was to log on, introduce yourself, give a little bit of your clinical background, um, and what you expect to get out of the course, why you took the course, et cetera, et cetera. So I have already did that. I wanted to stay ahead of the game. I have uh, been assigned several chapters of reading um, to do in those books, those two books that I showed you. And so that is what I will be doing today. 
Um, I have to rearrange my life already. Um, people are calling me who I know um, like to talk a lot on the phone. I don't have time to be on the phone with my friends, um, you know, hanging on for an hour, getting that hot tea um, because I have to focus on my books. I don't have plans for any distractions. So here's the book that I'm using for my second class. Okay. The second class that I'm taking is called Health Perspectives of Culturally Diverse Rural and Underserved Population. The description of the course is, this course is designed to introduce the advanced practice nursing student to the issues of culturally diverse rural and underserved populations. The theory can be integrated into clinical practice for patients and families in primary care settings to promote understanding of differences in the issues that impact comprehensive planning of healthcare services. So I had two assignments for my discussion board for that class and I already did those. Like I said, I'm staying ahead of the game. Um, and the first one was an introduction. Tell a little bit about yourself, who you are, your, your clinical experience and your background, um, why you decided to take the course, and are you going to continue your education after completing this course to get your DNP, which is the doctorate degree, which I don't plan on um, doing that. So that was my first discussion. I posted that. That's done. The second assignment was I had to post um, a discussion about uh, communication with other cultures. So um, I that required me to obtain a couple of journal articles. We had to have at least two um, resources. The papers had to be written in APA format and it had to be at least 150 words. So that is what I did. And so I have already submitted that as of this morning. Um, it's not due until Wednesday. And then you have to respond to somebody else's post by Sunday. So that is it. So I hope that this information has been helpful to you. Um, I wanted to keep the video short. Please come along on my journey as I get the psychiatric nurse practitioner um, postmaster certificate. I'll try to keep the videos interesting um, and I will post a video about the cost in the next um, video. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell notification so you know when new content is posted. Life is what you make it, so make the most out of life. Can you keep up with me? Because you never know where I'm going to be. This is Catching Up with Crystal. Please like and subscribe. Have a great day. Stay blessed. Be safe out here.